All right, so yeah, we're loading up the Access Rosin machine with 100 grams of Scorpion Cruise Cherry Zaza and Watermelon Skittles melt. We're about to press 100 grams of melt at one time, all getting caught into the center vessel and mason jar down below. So you just want to center the pouch right inside. As Spencer was saying, it's got perfect half inch clearance. He's gonna go through and check it with the tongs. Okay, so what's gonna happen here at first, as we were explaining earlier, is going into the liquefy stage. Practically zero pressure applied onto this press. So while you're walking around, you just want to make sure that everything is still squared away. Make sure. And we're dripping, folks. If you look down here, we got a, a flow starting. So what we're looking for is as constant as a stream as possible here, creating no delay from leaving the plate down into the collection vessel. And if you hear the pump continuously moving, it's constantly compensating for it's losing its mass inside the pouch and coming down to the jar. So what we're seeing here is this press saying, hey, you want it at this pressure? This is where we're gonna hold it. We're collecting down here at 86 degrees Fahrenheit when we're pressing above at 210. So it's instantly cooling down from this thermostat that reads 95 on the top of the collection, 86 on the lower. So as you see, I'm just constantly eyeballing, making sure we have an even melt bead, no blowout situations. We're, we're square and clear right now. We're only at stage four out of the six stages that we have programmed. So as we're slowing down here, this is where you're gonna be able to compensate, be like, okay, I'm gonna watch this flow. Maybe at this pressure, I can be like, eh, it's not coming out that fast. Let's go ahead and Spencer, let's skip that stage and crank, crank her on up. Because remember, especially at the 205 plus t temperature rating, we're trying to heat, melt, transfer, and cool as fast as safely possible. So there's no reason if this flow is slowing down to continue at that pressure. We want to go ahead and finish the cycle as fast as we can safely. What beautiful color it is. Mike, Scorpion Crew, man, thank you guys again for this wonderful demo for the night. We mixed Cherry Zaza and Watermelon Skittles melt together, created a cuvee of flavor. And man, if you guys you can see my face, but if you could only smell this right now. <laughs> so yeah, we're kind of coming towards the tail end of what we consider this press process. So right now we've come to all the way through the stages that we've wanted to run. And we're at here, we're, we're identifying, okay, it's still dripping. We don't want to waste anything. We've given ourselves another 30 second window here of do we want to bring it up a little more? Do we want to just let it finish doing its thing? I think where we're at with this particular one, pretty well tapered off. So let's go ahead and unpause it, let it finish in six seconds. And we're sitting right now at a total of 1100 pound, uh, PSI on the pump. And up it comes. as right now, completely dry plates, no leaks, no blowouts. So we're gonna take this out of here, right? We're, we want this to be cooled down, sealed up, not, and not losing any more terpenes.